Hi, I'm Mayuri. And I am Heather. Welcome back to another episode of 619 Online. This evening we have Evan continuing our Fruits of the Spirit series talking about faithfulness this week. And before that, we've got Sam on worship. Um, and let me just pray before we begin. So thank you, Jesus, for this time. Um, thank you that you're present with us. Thank you that however virtual this is, that you meet us exactly where you are. Amen. Amen. See you in a bit. Bye. of you who are about to complete school I hope you're feeling all right about it I hope your exams have been going well uh, and those of you who are about to go into half term uh, before you have one more uh, little bit of school I hope you all have a nice break uh, and have some time not to have to be worrying about the stresses of everything but you can all just chill out um, this so as you all know this term we have all be, we have been looking at the fruits of the spirit um i'll be impressed by anyone who knows all of them off by heart yet uh, i think i'm trying to think of a song we could do so that we uh, could learn them that way but this week we are going to be looking at the fruit of the spirit of faithfulness now my first little question I would like to, I always like to ask people 
is um, how do you feel when someone doesn't keep their promises to you? So if you have someone who says, oh, I promise we're going to hang out later, uh, and then suddenly something comes up for them and they can't hang out, how does that make you feel? Or if you go, um, if you some, if you go, your parents go, oh, I promise we're going to have a McDonald's tonight, and then you get home and there is uh, cold onion soup. I don't know. I don't know. Many people who have onion soup now these days. Um, but like these aren't things that particularly excite you very much, are they? And it's sort of it's a bit of a letdown if you're promised like to hang out with a mate and have some exciting time, and then suddenly that goes. That's disappointing. And just like if you've been promised you can have a McDonald's. And suddenly that doesn't happen. Like, they're just not fun things. So how often do we, um, and I know I do it, how often do we promise things to people that we then can't fulfill? Because um, at the time we had a good intention and we had, like, the plan we're going to do it. So, like, we planned we were 100% going to meet up with someone. We planned that we were going to help our parents do the washing up. Um, and we had all these plans, but then life just got in the way, um, and suddenly we haven't been able to fulfil it. And my thing I'd like to talk about is how we have a God that always keeps his promises. He is always faithful to us. Um, if you look in the Bible, he, even when people are like, God, why aren't you here? Why aren't you keeping our promises? God always appears eventually. He has his timings as frustrating as they can be sometimes because it's on his, it's like he's got his time and it's always the perfect time, not necessarily how we think things should go. Um, but um, that is, it can be hard. Like, However, he does keep his promises. And one example of this is he promised um, that he would send someone down to help uh, fix the mistakes that had been made about with sin. Uh, he sent Jesus down, his own son, he went uh, and Jesus died. He then, when, uh, when Moses, um, so as you guys don't know, uh, like in the Bible, it talks about how the Egyptians had enslaved the Jews and um, God had promised to set them free. And he did this through a man called Moses. And he kept this promise and he set them free. And he had promised them this promised land. Um, and he said that you'll be, I'll be faithful, I'll give you this. However, the people, uh, the Jews at the time, weren't faithful. And as a result, and they were worshipping false idols, God gave them the Ten Commandments, they weren't following them. Um, and as a result, actually, God said, because you are not faithful to me, none of you will see this land. Uh, but as I am, because I am faithful to you, um, you're like, you're like kids and stuff, they will be the ones to inherit this land. Um, because they didn't trust God, they were fearful, they disobeyed his rules, they were scared, they heard rumours about giants in the land and it was terrifying for them and so they didn't choose to be faithful to God. But as I have gone on my little wander, I would like to sum it up as God is a God, a good God who keeps his promises and he is faithful to us um, no matter what we do. If we uh, good or bad, if God has promised us something, uh, he will deliver. And I think for us, we need to be a bit more careful about what we do when we say we promise things. I think we need to maybe think a little bit more um, and not just jump straight into our promise. Because actually, when we say, oh, yeah, I promise I'll go to the gym, I promise I'll have food, I promise I'll hang out, I promise I'll do the dishes, it becomes a bit more, it becomes less than what it is. It's no longer this thing of, I'm going to do this, I'm going to be faithful to you, I'm going to do this. It becomes a bit more of a, oh yeah, sure, like maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. And 
I think we all need to try and I know I do sometimes work on when we say we're going to do something trying our best to do it but guys that is all I have for you today I hope you all have a really good weekend uh, and a good half term there is no video next week uh, so we'll catch you the week after bye oh thanks Evan for that great talk um yeah just really good uh so this week um there is no weekly talent enjoy your week off that yep. is your talent nice um and because you're all enjoying your week off and it's half term in school and everything like that um we're having a week off as well so we're not going to be having another episode next week so make sure you tune in in two weeks time when we will be doing the penultimate fruit of the spirit series I think it's me talking so we'll see what happens with that um but first i'm just going to pray before we finish thank you jesus for this time that we've had together this evening i thank you for what evan brought on faithfulness and it's so good to be reminded of that and how faithful you are i just pray as we have a week off we all have a great time just relaxing and not worrying about the stresses of school or college i pray you keep us all safe until we see each other again amen, amen. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.